Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about bringing back the blinking LED notification light for your Galaxy S10 series. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top to check out all the videos I've made so far for the Galaxy S10 series. Now, if you remember back in the day, one of the conveniences of having an older Samsung phone was having a blinking LED light notifying you when you get a notification. And as of late, for the past few years, we did not have that on our Samsung Galaxy devices. But today, we're going to bring it back. And this is something that won't really take a lot of battery. It's a small overlay that is on top of your lock screen and your always on display that you can still access by doing a double tap. And you're also able to distinguish how long you want that notification to blink. So one of the nice things is that on this device here today, you can make it blink for just a half hour or letting you know for maybe just an hour. So it's something not blinking through the entire night. So in order to get this downloaded, you want to download an application that is called Notify Buddy. Now this is a free application on the Play Store. So open up the Play Store, hit on the search button and search for Notify Buddy as one word. It will show on the very top made by Xander Apps. And once you have this one downloaded and installed, it will ask you to accept a couple permissions. And once you get those accepted and turned on, it'll show you this application here. Now there's three tabs on the bottom and three dots on the top. And that's really all you would need to know with this application. Underneath user, these are applications that's downloaded by you. So if there's applications that you would like to see this little notifying light or notifying LED, you're able to do that. And so I turned on mine for Hangouts and Instagram and, and then underneath system, this will take a second to load. But once it all loads up, then you'll want to scroll down and, and basically find your messages and email and, and things like that. And that's if you use the stock email uh, that was you know provided by Samsung. So if you scroll down, down, you'll see that there's a lot that's not checked. I uh, really only have the Gmail. If you keep on going down, then you're going to see uh, as we get into the M's that I'll have messages turned on. Um, and then you can also see everything that is activated right over here. So going through both of these tabs, I turned on only these applications. These are the ones that matter to me that I would like to see a LED blinking light, which is my email, Hangouts, Instagram, messages, Snapchat, and Twitter. And you can see that they all have different colors. So on the path, in previous little screens here for user and system, you can actually tap on each one and create a uh, default color. So you can either have this one made for the color of your application. So yellow makes a lot of sense when it comes down into Snapchat. And as you go through, you can you can you know go through and, and pretty much set up your colors. For Gmail, I just made this one basically white. It just made a lot of sense because the application color was white as well. Uh, and I don't want to you know mix a couple different blues but you don't have to only do it in active. You can do it inside of user and system. So if we go on back, let's say that we scroll down just one more time, just so I can show you, you can do it from this screen as well. You can see it's already green. And so that's going to be the colors that it'll show. Uh, when you first open them up, they might be a different color. Uh, and so as you go on through, that is pretty much how you set them up. So you can do them in this screen here, or you can do it inside of this um, active area. So uh, Gmail was put back to white. So for a yellow, let's bring this back to white. We're good to go. Now on the very top right hand side, this is where you can either donate to the application or you can go inside of settings. Now inside of settings, this is how I have mine set up. This is what you saw at the very beginning of the video. The very top option is the LED animation time. So it's the time taken for the LED to complete one blink. Originally when it's turned on, it's actually set at the number of two. So it actually goes two, two and 30. So it'll blink for two seconds. It'll wait for two seconds and then blink again and it will go for about 30 minutes. So the nice thing is that if you walk up to your phone and you got a text message or a Snapchat 25 minutes ago, uh, you'll be able to see a blinking light that will happen for an interval of two seconds and happen every two seconds. Um, but I have mine set up for uh, one second and one second. And if you want this to maybe go up to, let's say only an hour, maybe you don't want the application to run for more than an hour, you can do it this way. And you can also stop while in uh, do not disturb mode. 
mode. So if you don't want anything popping up when you turned on your do not disturb, you don't have to have it on. So you can actually have it off. Uh, and so now what's gonna happen is that even in do not disturb, um, it's gonna show me my little LED blinking light. So this is a pretty good setup here. The light will blink for one second and then it'll wait one more second and then do it again for another second. Now, the only thing I do have to mention, and I believe this is the same way it's been set up on the older past devices, is that when you get a notification from, let's say, your messages. So if we turn off the screen here, um, I send myself a text message. You'll see that it'll it'll blink the blue color for, for messages. Uh, and then if you get another notification, so let's say maybe it's from Snapchat. So if we open up Snapchat on the other phone, then you're going to see a uh, blinking yellow light instead. Uh, and it's not going to switch between the two. And it's only gonna show you the notification from the very last notification service that you had, which again, I believe was the same from two or three years ago, four years ago, when Samsung phones had those notification blinking lights. But this is a really nice application. It's one of those things where now I don't even have to pick up my phone to know that I have a notification from Snapchat. And so once I double tap onto the screen, it opens right back up. But once you went through that screen, and that notification was basically now dismissed. Uh, when you go back to your black display, um, it should not show that notification again. Uh, this one's just a little IR, you know, that the camera is picking up. So your eye will not see this one. This is just um, sensors on the front for you know how bright it is and, and and everything else and if you're using the phone if it's up to your ear and everything so you can see that the the blinking led light is now gone um, but if we're to send something one more time you'll see that it'll come right back and it'll only last for 60 minutes and that is if you have it set up for 60 minutes um, you can go all the way up to two hours and again it really doesn't have a lot of battery drain but uh, you can put it for whatever you want so i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a big thumbs up uh, hit on that subscribe button you can subscri subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side with that little circle down here share this video with your friends and family and social media sites and i hope that you guys have liked this application other than that i'll see you guys later